Welcome back to another caffeinated tutorial without the caffeine. We're out here tonight doing some light painting. It's very dark and I regret my clothing choice. I should have brought more layers. I think Josh is here, but I cannot see him. Oh. Josh, are you there? Ah, oh, there he is. And if you didn't already know, I'm Alex. There's a few things you need if you want to do some light painting. First, we'll start off with the, uh, the camera. That's pretty important. As well as the tripod, if you can hold it properly. A flash and some LEDs. Perhaps also, if you want to get creative, use a mobile phone. So, for <coughs> so first, put the camera on the top of the tripod. You'll then have to focus in auto uh, with the light shining on whatever area that you're photographing and then change it to manual because you don't want the lens seeking in the dark. Uh, probably set it to a 30 second exposure, maybe 15 seconds, around f11, f8, and press the shutter. It's probably handy if you have more than one person doing this. We just have Josh, I think, for the time being. So for this first one, we're gonna use a yellow LED from Bunnings. This one cost us about $10. Josh, get light painting. Good movement. That one's gonna be a great pattern. Great creativity. Oh yeah, nice painting, Josh, good work. Now, on to our next one. We're just using the normal LED. You can write your name with this one if you turn it off and on as you're going. Josh, write my name. Wow, you're really doing well. That looks good, Josh. What are you doing? That's not my name. What does that say? Arslex? All right, if Josh is willing to cooperate, on to the next one. What is the next one? So the next one is the flash. Josh, flash yourself in three different positions. Good movement. Nice work, Josh. That looks great. Gee, it's still a little cold out here, isn't it? For our next one, get your phones out. Hello? Download an app that changes your phone's screen color and get going. We've got red for Josh this time. Great movement. Hashtag aesthetic. 